<laughs> Ready, aim, fire. <laughs> hey everybody, Darlington Farm here. And this week I got to build a bunch of these guys here. This is a uh, deal that directs cans like this root beer can uh, from a machine that takes the pre-made can forms and uh, directs them from the machine that takes them off of a pallet and then runs them to an actual machine that cans the liquid inside there. I can't really show you the rest of that, but I can show you building these. Basically, a can drops in here like this and goes from one machine to the next. This is all 304 stainless steel. Uh, it's all been laser cut out like that. And we gotta go ahead and put some of these together here. So I'm gonna put you guys down and let you see what I'm doing. For job shop work like this, some sort of fixture table is pretty much a must. It allows you to very quickly fixture something up and let you get projects out the door. This is a strong hand uh, build pro table, not sponsored by them. I bought this, I really like it. I've just got some angle fixtures on here, clamped down to the table with those little ball locks. I've just got some fireball tool squares here just to kind of prop the little you know, rods there to where they're square to the table and I'm just using a little squeeze clamp to hold the one uh, ring that I'm welding to one of the angle blocks and it made it really fast to just go ahead and slam these guys out. All the spacing was consistent on each of these rings here so it just made for a really fast process of slide them on there, clamp it, tack it, add a little bit of filler because really I mean there's no weight on this it's just the weight of an aluminum can and the vibration of whatever machines on it so this made for a really quick and easy way to throw these together. From the top here you get a really good view of the advantages of using a fixture table. On the left hand side there I've got the one angle block fixed rigid in the uh, grid holes there and on the right I've just got one ball lock in that slot that lets you adjust the width in between the angle blocks and then I have two of the uh, I don't know what you call those the flat flat bars there set 90 degrees to the uh, part just to kind of space it up off the table and then I've got another one of those same uh, bars there that just kind of clamps and makes a little space there for those rings to sit in and it worked out really well for holding these I, I was really happy with the consistency between the parts and like the speed at which I could put this together there's just again a side view here lets you see how I'm doing this I'm using a CK uh, flex lock to water cool torch uh, I have just got my dynasty 400 set up there at about 75 80 amps something like that anything food related like this is going to need to be polished after you weld it i have a fine bristle stainless steel brush in this milwaukee die grinder and i'm just going back over the welds knocking off any color or anything like that just to make sure it's nice shiny clean and stainlessy all right so if i'm looking at the print correctly here there's an air solenoid that sits on the bottom of this tower cans here pops out a new can drops into the machine and then the solenoid goes back in here and limits the flow of the cans into the machine i believe this is for like energy drinks uh, but anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this week's quick video here just you know kind of a job shop project here that needed to get out and i thought you guys might enjoy so i'm darlington farm thank you for watching